Hello everyone, this is Antej Kalada. So today in this video, we'll be discussing on how you can use the Google Gemini API to read PDFs. See, first of all, I want to make it clear. I know that a native already offers a native node for reading PDFs and it's actually quite good. But I wouldn't say it is the best because I have had many scenarios where I'll just show you the native node. See here. I'm sorry. If you're looking at the native node, see. If you just search for PDF, you will see extract from file and you have an option here to extract from PDF. So as I told, it's actually good. So it would be able to read at least 70% 70, 70 of the cases. But the thing is that remaining 30% of the case, if at all there is any kind of complexity in the PDF document, the native node in NA10 won't be able to read it. So I thought I'll use Google Gemini and extract all the details from the PDFs. Okay. And another thing is that at present Google Gemini does not have a native integration with NA10. So I have used a custom node here. So what I have done here is you have on form sub submission, basically a form where you can upload the document. And once you get the document, it is converted into a base 64 string. And after that, it is sent to Google Gemini. Because as you know, even though Google Gemini or ChatGPT has an option to upload PDFs in the UI interface, it both of them do not have an option to send PDFs through their APIs. So I just did a different method here using an HTTP node. So you do not need to make any changes here at all. If at all you want to change the model, yes, you can do that. Otherwise, do not change the model here as well. I'll be giving this workflow. This workflow will be available in my school community, which is absolutely free to join for the first 100 members. And all you have to do is just update the query. See, here select generic credential type and here query authentication and here just add this value. See, in your case, in my case, this value is already added. In your case, if it is not there, just add it here. All you have to do is name should be key and value should be your API key. And how can you get the API key? Just go to aistudio.google.com and you will be greeted with a screen like this. And once you are in the screen, you have an option here. See, get API key. Just click on get API key and it will generate an API key for you. And at present, they have a very generous free tier. So you do not have to pay anything or attach your card or anything like that. They have a very generous free tier. So just get the API key and paste it here. Okay. That's the only thing you have to do. And here I have given all the code, JSON, everything is here. You do not need to make any modifications at all. Only thing you have to do is just replace the key here. And yes, that is basically how you do it. And as I said, this is already available in my school community. So just for search in my school community, just search for Google Gemini PDF extraction. And I'll tell you what personal application. This is something that I did for a client of mine. Let me just quickly log in and show you. This is an automation that I built using the same methodology. So my client had a requirement that whenever he is getting a PDF, at a PDF attachment in Gmail, he need to download that PDF, then extract the information from that PDF and add it in a Google Sheet because he mainly he want to get invoice details. So most of the invoices they set as an attachment, but there is no proper format. Different companies have different formatting for invoices. So he wanted a centralized system like this. Okay. So this particular system, it acts starts with a Gmail trigger. Then it will check the email for attachment. If at all there is an attachment, it will download that. Then it's the same thing. Same thing what we have done. Transform to base 64, extract the PDF content. And here I am using OpenAA as well. After I extract the PDF content, I am using OpenAA to make some formatting here and there. Okay. So this is just one application of this particular node. And again, the applications for this are like numerous. There are hundreds of applications. And at present, this is the only way. See, I'm creating this video in the month of April 2025. At present, this is the only way to like extract data with 100% accuracy. And of course, this is free as well. So if you have any doubts, let me know. And if you like this video, please join my school community. And it is absolutely free for the first 100 members. And 
other than that if you have any queries at all just let me know in the comment section below thank you and have a great day